Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I have a Vince haul for you guys and in my opinion, there is a lot of really good vintage stuff in here and I'm super excited to share some of it with you guys. Uh, so let's just get into it. First, I got this skirt. This is a cute little like mini skirt and it like ruches in the front. This is by Dylan. This, that's the brand. Uh, and apparently this brand is sold on Revolve. This is a new to me brand, but super cute little snake print mini skirt. And it is a size small. Next I got these. These are cute. These are some Kate Spade sandals and they have this like chunky beaded coral, coral beaded and leather detail. They are a size seven. And the bottoms are really in good shape too. I'll show you. Super cute. Next I got this belt. This belt is by Jenny Cross. Here's the tag. I've never heard of this brand. Jenny Cross. It is a size medium. It's 100% wool and it's like this really pretty, I don't know what you call this, knit cross stitch. I'm not exactly sure, but it's really cute. Next, this is really pretty, and I was really surprised at the brand. So it's this super nice, let me put it on so we can get the full effect, trench coat. And it is like calf length. Really nice, extra lightweight, and this is a vintage Go Silk piece. Here's the tag. Go Silk, and this was at Beard Off Goodman. Here's the Go Silk tag. It is a size two and it is 100% silk. Here's the back. Really cute. This is like perfect for spring, summer, traveling. <laughs> Super cute. Next, I might as well show you what is behind me, hanging on the wall absolutely stunning floor length yellow dress i'm not sure when this is from if i was guessing i would say 50s but look at this sleeve detail are you kidding me like absolutely beautiful both sleeves like a puff sleeve detail and it does have a brand let me show you the back it's got like that collar situation and then we'll show you the brand. Here's the tag. And there's no size, I don't think. No, so I'll just have to measure it. But I'm so glad that it actually had a brand on it. So I don't have to just say it's something like handmade. But absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get this listed. I love, 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 love the sleeves. So pretty. Next, another really pretty vintage dress. Again, I'm not exactly sure as I'm filming this, what era this dress is from. Maybe some of you guys, but look at that color. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. And it has like this little pleated detail right here at the bust. And then it has the pleated detail down right in the center. <gasps> like, are you kidding me? Like, and this has a brand as well. I about fell over. Look at the, I just, it's so well made. And there's next to nothing wrong with it. I think on this one I saw like a small little burn hole. Here's the brand. Gray Rose, again, I don't think this one has a size, but it's also, this has a metal, a tiny little metal zipper. Let me see if I can show you how the, yeah, look at the inside. It's got like a corset built in. So nice. I love this color. I wonder if this one fit me, just, just to show you guys. I don't think so. It's just so, so pretty. I love this. Like. The bottom is just, can you imagine like coming to homecoming or prom wearing this? I love it. And the color, it's just, okay, next thing. 
next thing is the Madewell overalls that I showed you guys briefly yester in yesterday's video. So here's the tag a little bit better. I have no idea what size it is, but these do fit me somehow. They fit me like almost perfectly. Like, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not. I did go ahead and wear them actually yesterday, but they're not like my most favorite thing. So if somebody out there is like, oh, I have to have them, please let me know and I will consider posting them. But they are really cool. I love that they're the vintage actual Madewell brand. I love these buttons and it's so crazy. Like Madewell still uses these exact buttons. I bought a denim jacket from Madewell. It was a collab with Backdrop, I believe, and it has these exact buttons on it, so that's interesting, but I don't know. I love it. I love it. It has like bleach things on it. I don't know. I really like it. Next, I got this little mini skirt. This is an airy skirt. It is a size medium and it is brand new with tags. Just a little mini corduroy skirt, and I obviously was not going to leave that behind. Retail on it is pretty high. $49 for this, so picked that up and this <laughs> look how tiny this is i think this is zero to three months but it's a vintage little knit sweater and it does have a brand there's the brand soft spun so adorable <laughs> then i got this jumpsuit this is a anthropology jumpsuit and it is i don't know what what you call this herringbone this is not herring this it is i think herringbone Maybe it's just exaggerated herringbone, I'm not sure, but it's got these giant pockets on the side. It's like a cropped wide leg style. And the back is the same as the front, like kind of like a jumper situation. Here's the tag. Oh, there you go. It is a size small. I think this is really cute, super, super cute. Then I got this. This is really cute too. This is by Cherokee and it is this little cropped plaid jacket. It has a slight shoulder pad in it that I'm sure you could remove if you wanted to, but I loved the zipper pull. Look at that. It's like got beads and metal and I don't know what this is. So cool. Little bomber style. Next, I got some juicy shorts. I was so excited when these ended up being actually vintage juicy. They are a size large, little terry cloth velour shorts. I think these will do really well. Next, I got this tank top. This is a little cropped like baby tank, I guess you'd call it, but I just really liked the pattern on it. It has like all these different types of bright, graphics to it. It has some pit stains, but I'm going to run it through the wash and hopefully they'll come up a little bit. And it's by Pure Diva. Does it have a size? No size, so I'll just have to measure it, but I thought that was a cute little fun 90s-ish tank top maybe. Then I got this really cute, I don't know, overlay shirt. So, so cute. I love the lace detail. Really pretty. And this has no brand, I don't think. No brand, but really cute. And I got this. This is a vintage Target moment. Exhilaration. Size medium. I just really liked this, like, shiny material uh, it's like almost like satiny and i like that it was like a wrap front style it like closes over here with this buckle i don't know i have no idea we'll see how that does cute next i got this i was shocked for some reason when i grabbed this and the tag said athleta so this is like a really nice like fleece nylon i guess combination jacket this part is fleece and this part is like more of a nylon. It's got a hood and then it's got like, I'm not sure if it's a removable vest or you can just remove this part, but it's got all these layers. It's newer Athleta, size so medium, really cute. And the, the retail store only wanted $12.99 for it. So I feel like that's not terrible, especially for Athleta. Usually they mark it up a lot. This is so 
cute and I'm so glad it has a look how cute it has a brand as well I've never heard of this brand Moon Dogs Trace I don't know how to say that sorry French maybe um really cute and it's a size small <laughs> super cute crochet crop top perfect for the festival girlies perfect for summertime resort wear vacations Easter whatever you feel like so so cute this is another one of my favorite finds I first of all the colors number one just number one are you kidding me like <laughs> for real and then it's got this really cute little like ruffle at the bottom maxi length dress uh, like I said the color is just absolutely beautiful and here's the tag it's a Hawaii knee vintage dress I wonder if it has a size somewhere no size so I will just have to measure it but absolutely beautiful I love 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 the color so pretty <laughs> oh my goodness whoever buys this like you're going somewhere fun so pretty Next, I got this little vintage dress. I think this is probably like a vintage nightgown, but I thought a, a little cute cro coquette girly could wear this. Really pretty, like floor embroidery with the little crochet and lace sleeves. It is like ankle length, so it's almost maxi length, but I feel like you could throw a slip under this maybe and wear it out. And it does have a brand. It is by Spotlight. It is a size medium. I don't know, I just thought that was really cute. Super cute. This one is really fun too. This is a vintage mini skirt and it is pink corduroy. It is by Silver Tab by Levi's. And the back has this really fun single pocket with a little silver tab on it. I love that. And the front buttons off, obviously. Super cute, I think it's a size three, four, yeah. So it's vintage, but really, really cute. This is another fun athleta piece. I love the Sherpa like shearling part. And then the back is like puffer style. I'm sure it's goosed out. I haven't looked yet, but it's an older athleta, but it's in excellent condition, size medium. Really cute vest. Next, I got this extra cozy oversized free people sweater. I mean, this looks like you could just live in this thing. So cute. It's knit. It's got a turtleneck and it is a size large. It's a free people tag. Really, really cute. And it's super soft too. Okay, we're making a dent in the Hulkin now. I'm like to the top now. It's not quite overflowing anymore. And this is so fun. I'll put a clip in because I did put a clip of me like unfolding it at the bins and taking a look at it for the first time because it was inside out and all folded on itself when I picked it up. But this is another quilt topper. I've had luck with these in the past and this one is in such great shape. And the shapes, I'm not, I don't know what, what pattern this is yet. I haven't looked it up and I've never found one of these with quite this pattern on it yet. But are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm trying to get it so you can like really see. Hold on. Oh, maybe it's upside down. Maybe it goes this way. So cool. It's like these fans and there's so many different fabrics on here. So many. And it looks like somebody just like put this all together and just never finished it. Like. I love these. I love these. And I love that someone's going to finish this and make it a beautiful blanket or maybe a jacket or a dress or something. And this one's pretty big too. Come to think of it, this might be the thumbnail. So you might have already seen it by now, but that's okay. <laughs> I got this. This is a really fun, I'm not sure if it's 90s or Y2K, but high neck cross strap prom dress so that's the neckline like that 
and then it would cross it. Oh yeah, see, look at that, so cool. It's got these gems or crystals, whatever you wanna call them, and then it continues on through the back. And it's got like a dip in the back and it crosses so pretty there's more gems and this is by Dave and Johnny I've been finding this brand a lot of these like little vintage prom or homecoming dresses and I've been loving picking them up I'm not exactly sure what size this one is so I will just have to measure it but it is floor length it has a split at the thigh super duper cute Next, I got this. This is a fun Ralph Lauren, what is it, Polo Ralph Lauren? Polo Jeans Ralph Lauren. So here's the tag. And then it's got the American flag and it's like a mock, ne mock turtleneck. And it's ribbed and it's gray. So it has like all the things going for it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It is a size petite medium. Really cute. I got this little vintage I don't know, lingerie cover up, but I feel like you could kind of almost just wear this out if you wanted to. Obviously not by itself, but you could style it and wear it out if you wanted to, but, or you could wear it with lingerie. It's really cute. It's like only shirt length and it does have a brand and a size. It is a size small, yeah, and it's 100% nylon. Black, sheer, little lace trim, really cute. This Lily dress, and this is such a fun print. It's got like koi fish on it and crabs, whoop, and crabs. And it has a tie neck detail at the back. Let me see if I can show you better. There we go. Really cute print. I love this dress. It is a size large and here is the tag. Super cute. This is so pretty, so pretty. And I'm glad it wasn't like a tablecloth or a table runner or something because often when you find things that are crochet like this, that's what they are. This is a gorgeous soft surroundings maxi skirt, fully crocheted. It does have a small flaw, so, so I'm just gonna have to note that when I list it. Where is it? Yeah, right here. Right there, it's ripped in the crochet a little bit, but I feel like you can fix that. But like I said, it's soft surrounding. It's a petite medium. Really, really cute. I love this skirt. Got this. This was fun. I've never heard of this brand before. Well, now you see the back. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Little horses at like a, a barn and the sunset. Really cute. The front, I think, has a similar sort of similar with a tree and then more horses here's the brand the comps for these were absolutely all over the place but none that i saw had horses on it like this so i picked it up to give it a try it's a really cool like open wear jacket and it is a size ex which i would guess is an extra large next i got this this is a really pretty nightgown, super nice blue color with a contrasting like cream trim. I really like the bust line or the bust detail and it's full length, floor length, and it does have a brand and no size, wait, 34 does have a size and it's nylon. Super cute. I think this is going to do really well. And the hemline has the uh, lace trim as well, so that's really pretty. Super nice. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video. If anybody's interested in anything, please let me know in the comments below so when I go to list these things, I can prioritize them for you. Uh, this is a really cute button down. Unfortunately, somebody cut the brand out and they started to partially remove some of the really nice embroidery that's why i bought it because it has such nice embroidery on it it goes down the front through here and then it's also on the sleeves just a little cute denim button up we'll just have to measure it this is so fun and the brand absolutely surprised me so this is a what midi skirt yeah 
a midi skirt. It is like this really fun bandana print, pink and orange. And this is a vintage anthropology skirt. I'm so excited to see how this does. I think this is gonna do so well. It's another really cute skirt, but I don't think, yeah, this one, the brand's cut out as well, unfortunately, but it's this really pretty, like, ditzy micro floral. And it's got a handkerchief hem. So cute. And it's like a midi length. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Next, I got this really fun, what is this, crochet at the top? Little fishnet style, I guess, detail. And this is a full length denim dress. It's got a tie at the back so you can make it as tight or as loose as you want. But yeah, I think it's maxi length, let me see. Yeah, maxi length. And it is by Styleworks. It is a size six. I thought that was cute. Then I got this vintage racing jersey. I think this is vintage dirt bike jersey, if I'm not mistaken. But these can go for a, a pretty penny, especially when they're like these really bright colors like this. And this one's in really great shape. Here's the tag, size large. This is really fun, another vintage piece. I think this might be 50s, if I'm not mistaken. Hughes Hatcher Sufferin, I think that's what that says. It's a size 15, and this is a really soft wool with like a satin or silk, I'm not sure, uh, trim to it. I would call it like a shacket maybe, because it's like a pretty substantial weight. And it's much heavier than just a shirt. Next, I got this dress. This is a really fun, like asymmetric, neckline black, little black dress and this is by Pedal and Pump I've never sold or found this brand before but this dress just felt kind of like substantial to me it's got like a good weight to it and it's oh it does have like a little slit at the hem too so we'll see how that one does Next, I got another vintage lingerie piece. This one, unfortunately, has no brand, but I really like that this could be like considered bridal. It's kind of like a cream or champagne color. I like the lace detail. I like the bow right here. So I'll just have to measure this one. But these weigh nothing, so I don't mind picking them up when they don't have a brand, but I prefer when they have a tag. I got this. This is a cachet top. It's a size medium. I picked it up for the style. It is ribbed. It's a tank. And then it's got like this really fun beaded trim to the whole neckline. So I thought that was cute. And I like the color a lot. So we'll see how that does. It is a size medium if I didn't say that already. And then we got this. This is a Robert Graham sweater. Robert Graham jeans. It's a size extra large and it is ribbed, so I really like that. And it's purple, which I feel like is an unusual color and I feel like usually is a good thing for this brand. Next, I got this. This is another Ralph Lauren, which one is this? Polo Jeans Company. Right there's the tag. It's a size large. It also has the little American flag logo embroidered on it. This is a quarter zip men's sweater. The back is plain, just needs to be popped in the wash. And I think this is gonna do really well. Next, I got this skirt. I, I knew right away because of the skirt I found a few hauls ago, uh, what brand this was when I saw it. And I was so happy to find it, especially in this color. I love that it's just like this singular color crochet lace. Look how pretty that is. This is a carefree fashion skirt. Here's the tag. The elastic on this one is completely dry, so I'm just gonna have to list it like that, but I loved this skirt. I think this one might even do better than the other one I found. It is a size, no size. <laughs> Next is a knit vintage sweater. This is an open wear cardigan. It's got some flowers on it. The back is plain and it does have a brand. So I was a little surprised by that because this kind of looks like really handmade. 
Here's the brand, Made in Italy. It does not have a size, so I will just have to measure it, but this is a really cute, like, grandma core sweater, I feel like, except bougie and authentic vintage. Really cute. Next, this is a style pickup. I don't even know what brand it is. Oh, Pool. I don't know what brand that is, but size medium. I like that it had all these different, like, color blocks of animal print. Animal print is coming back as it always does and I think this is a cute little like fun pull on midi skirt and it's a size medium if I didn't say that already next I got this I just couldn't leave this behind the tag says three piece set but I only found this little jacket Florence Iceman is the brand and it is a size 18 months little tiny seersucker jacket little three button jacket absolutely adorable was not gonna leave that behind next this is cute I feel like this is very like y2k this is a velvet tube top that has an attachable strap and these are little tiny black rosettes on on a sheer strap I just feel like this is so cute uh, the brand is Gilligan and O'Malley, so I'm pretty sure that's like a lingerie brand, but I feel like you could wear this as a shirt for sure. This is a size medium. Really cute. I got some leggings. These are Zaya. Yes, Zaya leggings. They are a size 2. And they have this fun like ruching to the bottom, and they're like ribbed. But they were nice. They're like a blue and gray color combo. I guess I got these and I'm actually keeping these for me. These are some really cute Nike like high top leather sneakers and these are actually sold on Farfetch'd. Um, so yeah I'm gonna keep these for me. They're a whole size too big but I don't really care. <laughs> they still fit just fine and I'm not fixing to pay what $150 for the brand new ones on Farfetch'd so I will take those. <laughs> Next, I got these. These are some Patagonia little base layer leggings. They are the mid-weight Capoline base layer, size small. There's the tag. And these usually do pretty well. Next, this was exciting. This is really cute. Cotopaxi, and I'm probably going to keep this for myself. I absolutely love, love, love all the colors on this one. Just a little like quarter zip fleece. And here's the tag. It is a size small, but like I said, I'm probably gonna keep it for myself unless it doesn't fit. This is absolutely adorable. <laughs> the cutest little jacket I ever saw. It is a size nine months. It's Polo Ralph Lauren. Little goose down jacket. Just couldn't leave that there. It, there's nothing wrong with it, like nothing. So couldn't leave that. Then I got this. This is a really pretty vintage, super fine silk scarf. It's got some flaws, got some holes, got some stains, but I think somebody's still gonna like this. And this weighed absolutely nothing. Like I said, like here's a flaw right there, but I really like the floral pattern. And this is like tissue thin, it's so thin. So we'll see how that does. No, no brand on this one. Next, I got these. These I got actually to give to Play-Dohs, but since I'm going to be skipping Play-Dohs for the foreseeable, near foreseeable future, these are some Jordan like track pants. They just have the logo on them. They're men's track pants. They are a size large. Then I got this. Somehow this lived its life through the bins and is still perfectly pristinely white. This Elaine Fisher linen top, size small, really cute. Next I got this top shop dress. This is adorable. It's got little rosettes all over it. It buttons down the front and it is a maxi length. And it has like this really fun little ruffle at the bottom. It is a size eight. There's the tag. Then I got this vest. I got this based on style alone. I did not look up the brand, 
but I really loved that it had all these flowers. I love that the inside was plaid and this is like almost like wooly feeling, this tan fabric. Here's the brand, Erica's, what does that say? I can't read it backwards. Erica Casuals Clothing, it's a size large and it is wool. So the front is wool, the back is plain. I don't know, I just really like this and I thought this might do pretty well. What you doing down there, Bee? Are you rolling around on the stuff? Hmm? You tired of being in here? Mama's almost done. Sorry you hear Audrey in the background. She's getting tired of being in here with me filming, but if she's not in here, then she wants to be in here. So she's in here and now she's gonna get a drink. Next, I got these really cute soft surroundings, like pull-on pants. These are that like tinsel material that everybody likes. They have this really cute cuff detail at the bottom, pockets on the back, and they are a size small. Really cute. Next, I got this. I feel like if you wanted to, you could totally wear this as a shirt, like a crop top. This is a little Victoria's Secret bra top it is in like excellent condition and it is a size 34 c really cute weighs nothing so i couldn't leave it there next i got this this is a cool hoodie really nice men's full zip yeah full zip here's the logo on the sleeve this is a size large Next, I got this dress. I just really was drawn to the pattern of this dress for some reason, even though it's giving me very like Catholic school uniform. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's exactly what this is, I think. This is like my elementary school uniform skirt. But anyways, I really like the fact that number one, this is a maxi dress. I really like the blue and green check on this. I like the button detail right here and it ties at the back so you can make it as form fitting or not as you want. This is Bedford Fair. It is a size medium. And like I said, it's a maxi length dress. I don't know. I just thought this was cute and we'll see how this does. This is like a good summer dress. It's really lightweight. Next I got this skirt. I absolutely love the pattern on this skirt. This is a maxi skirt. It buttons up the side right here. This is by Herman Geist. It is a size, well, we don't know the size, but there's the tag. And here's the floral print. It is a maxi length and it's kind of more full at the bottom. Really, really cute, but it gets better. I found the matching sweater that literally could have been like any designer brand it wanted to be because it's got like these bobbles, it's got these little floral embroideries. It's so cute, but it's also Herman Geist. And like I said, it matches the skirt. These flowers match the skirt. This is hand embroidered. It's got, like I said, little bobbles all over it. It's wool. It's so nice. It has this one little hole right here, but I think this is gonna do so well. This is a small, so maybe the skirt's a size small as well. I mean, even Jack thought this set, this little vintage set was really cool, which surprised me because he's not really into like women's vintage like this, but like, yeah, I think this is a moment, I don't know. <laughs> Next, I got this dress. This is a Celine dress. I think that's what that says. Unless it says Colleen. You tell me what that says. Does that say Colleen or Celine? I don't by any means think it's the designer brand Celine, but I'm not sure if that says Colleen or Celine. Anyways, it's a size small. It's brown, which I love. And it's got this really fun crochet detail over it. And then it has a handkerchief hemline, which is very popular right now. And it laces up in the back. So I think this is gonna do pretty well. We shall see. Okay, 
want this and then one more thing and we are done. This is a really pretty Yumi Kim wrap dress. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. Kind of like this. And then it wraps, obviously. I'm pretty sure that almost all of these are silk, maybe, but really pretty. Here's the tag, Yumi Kim. I'm not sure the size, so I'll have to measure this one. And then lastly, I got these. But these gave me pause because, number one, they were rubber banded together at the bins. And while I have seen plenty of Tory Burch Miller sandals in my thrifting career, I have never found them that have the logo right here like this. The quality feels good. They're stamped like the inside where the size is. It seems like it's right. They're a nine and a half medium. The bottoms look like they are right. They say Tory Burch right here. They don't have the logo all over like I'm used to seeing, but that looks right to me. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. See, that looks, that looks good to me. And this looks good to me too. But like I said, I've never found a pair that have the logo on them like that. So any Tory Burch experts out there, any Tory girlies who have bought these from the store and that's the logo, please let me know. Like I said, I think these are real. The quality seems like it's there. I hope they are. <laughs> like I said, they are a size nine and a half. So please let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these. Do you think these are real? Do you think these are fake? Or are they just more of a modern style? I haven't found them in a while, like a while. So they could just be like a newer style. So that's it for this haul, you guys. I feel like I found lots of great vintage stuff, which isn't the norm for me. Like, I feel like I find vintage sometimes, but I feel like this week at the bins in particular, I was finding better than usual vintage things. I mean, this is, are you kidding? And that green dress and, and the quilt topper. I mean, anyway, so <laughs> I know this was kind of a long haul. It is 50 minutes right now as of filming. We'll see what it ends up being after I cut some stuff out. But if you stuck around and watched this video, I so appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind just hitting like on your way out, that would be awesome. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.